I structured this trailer music into four different sections. First, it's the intro section where the protagonist and the world in which they belong is introduced. Then the antagonist intro where the villain or the opposing side is introduced. Then it's the things at stake section which shows the stuff that is under attack or in danger, something like that. And then the climax section which shows the heroes or the protagonist preparing for the conflict and uh, some action stuff, you know, what makes these big budget blockbuster movies, those kind of stuff. And finally, this small additional section where, you know, those one-liners are delivered just before the reveal of the title. This entire structure was a vague idea in the beginning, but as the production progressed, it cemented itself. The first thing I wrote down was the chord progression of the intro. I used Keys 1 Classic for that, and this Atmos Piano for the most common piano sound that you can hear during the beginning of most modern trailers, which sounds like this. And here is the starting point of the intro. Then what I did is, stretch this chord progression to double its length and duplicated the Atmos piano pattern to get this. This is what I ended up using for the intro. Let me point out something. As you can tell from the color of the MIDI notes, I have adjusted their velocity to increase with each note. This gives the feeling of rising intensity. Now let me freeze these tracks back so that we can have a smoother playback with the screen recording in the background. It's a good practice to save your project before doing something risky like that because DAWs can crash when you're dealing with big projects. Keep that in mind, okay? Moving on to the long strings section. We have the same chords as before, it's just that this time we have the second note in the chord to give it more emotion. The VST plugin that I used for this is BBC Symphony Orchestra which has almost all the sounds in a typical orchestra. As you can see, what I have selected are the violas, and down here we can choose the type of articulation with which we want to play that section. Of course, we are using long. Now, if I bring this up, you can see some additional data. One is for expression, and the other is for dynamics, which are these two sliders here. These can be recorded live by using MIDI controllers that come with pitch bend or mod wheels. But since I don't have something like that, I added it by clicking on this plus button and choosing the type as NRPN and selecting the expression and dynamics from this list. To draw the data there, I disabled the snap and drew it like this. Here is how it sounds like. Do observe the sliders moving around with the uh, data that we drew there. It gives that additional realistic feeling. Moving on to the next instrument, and that is the cello section in BBC Symphony Orchestra, which is playing the root notes of the chord progression. Next, we have the VST plugin Labs playing the same chords with the patch Strings Wells Ensemble. One thing to note is I spaced out the keys in the chord by moving the second note in the chord one octave up. I'd like to mention that this Labs and the BBC Symphony Orchestra are both from Spitfire Audio. Moving on, these chords are also being played by Contact Player in which I have loaded a free contact library called the Free Orchestra from Project Sam. And Sardino Violins is the instrument that I used which sounds like this. I used this sound from Labs and also this one as drawn sounds in the intro.
yeah it's basically ambient bad kind of sound i wanted some digital synths in here so i added this plug Of course, there's the key of the project which is being played repeatedly, whose low pass cutoff and volume is being automated. Moving on we have the contact player again in which I have loaded the luminous choir instruments of the free orchestra library playing the same chords as the strings. We have these cinematic hits and percussion samples. Alright, here is the MVP. Ferrum from Keep Forest, which is a library of cinematic trailer percussions. The intro section ends with a bang from this library. We have these effect samples working along with the other sounds, especially the percussion, to bring the hype in. Finally, we have the dystopian drones instruments from the Free Orchestra Library playing the key of the song, which is D, throughout the intro. And here is the sneak peek of the intro. The next section is the antagonist intro but what I actually made after finishing the intro section was the things at stakes section. Let's keep moving in that order. In this section, everything rests on this synth bass line. The plugin I used is TFOS Alpha Plus 2 and of course I automated the low pass cutoff frequency like this. I layered this with short strings in its repetition. It's the short strings in the Free Orchestra library from Project Sam. Then we have the first violins, the second violins, and violas from BBC Symphony Orchestra in three different tracks, all of them using spiccato articulation. Then we have the cello section in BBC Symphony Orchestra using spiccato articulation then basses in VBC with spiccato and this is how it sounds like when we solo all the BBC symphony tracks for this section then I have short strings in labs because I like how this one sounds more than the short strings in BBC even though I grouped this bombastic basses instrument sound in the free orchestra library with the short strings, it's actually giving out a layered sound based on the velocity of the notes. Along with the string basses, we can hear some brass and piano with the increase in velocity. These are the cinematic hits and percussion samples that I used for this section. And here we have Ferrum library. Here is how it's working with the other sample. A kick sample paired with delay effect. Then a sample of clock ticking paired with pancake effect plugin. I used it to give it that feeling of running out of time. 
some effect samples that's working along with the percussion and the other instruments. Here's how the percussion and the effects sound like without the other instruments. Before I give you the sneak peek of this section, let me share with you the secret sauce behind trailer. You know what? It's actually the most commonly used sound in trailer music, which is the brown. The sound I'm using is called Pandora Buzz in the Free Orchestra Library. And here's the sneak peek. Alright, that's enough for a peek. Now we can move back to the section which lies between this section and the intro section, which is the introduction of the antagonist. First I laid down the cinematic percussion in the Ferrum track, then layered these hit samples with that. Then I added these effect samples between those drum hits. It's a combination of one effect sound and one riser. The only tonal element in this section is the plucky synth from the intro section, which I automated to go like this. Now let me tell you something. Sound effects, especially the rises and stuff like that, are very important in trailer music. Most of the time, they might even be louder than the music itself. This is what makes us feel like the video and the music in trailers are in perfect sync. So here is the antagonist intro section, which I structured imagining some visual edit points. Finally, we can move on to the climax section of the trailer, where I combine the chord progression from the intro section and the bass line from the stakes section. Along with the Sardino violins in the Free Orchestra Library, all the string instruments in BBC Symphony Orchestra is used here. The ones using the long articulation is used to play the chords, except for the basses which is used to play the root note of the chords. The short strings in the Free Orchestra Library and the string instruments in the BBC Symphony Orchestra using spiccato articulation are playing the bass line pattern from before. Here it changes a bit towards the end. The basses play the root notes of the chords in this pattern. The cello follow this pattern with the third note in the chord. And the violas with the second note in the chord but across multiple octaves. And all of them together sound like this. Here is the entire string section of the climax.
Then we have choir from the free orchestra library doing the chords. We have one more choir doing this. Then the plucky synth from the intro playing the root notes of the chords. Then this bass sound which I made in Tifo's Alpha. Then the Bram from before, this time following the root notes of the chord progression. I almost forgot, wherever this Bram comes up, I have it layered with this AAS player uh, with the sound trailer growl. In the repetition of this section, we have the heroic horns sound from the free orchestra library playing the piano melody from the intro section. I layered it with the long articulated brass horns of BBC Symphony Orchestra. Also with this tenor trombones. And finally the trumpets for the last single note which is held a little longer. Then for the second time, I have the piano follow along the melody of the horns. Now we can move on to the audio samples of this section. Here are two effects samples for the smooth entry of percussions. That leads us to the first percussion hit of this section, which is layered with this one. Here we have Ferrum doing some heavy lifting. This is how it works with the other cinematic percussion samples. Some rises and whooshes towards the ultimate end of this piece of music. Well that's leading to the title reveal which you will hear in the final preview. There is one more detail to show you. Observe the tempo as we reach towards the end. Yep, I automated it. How I did it is by going into these views and then opening up this tempo. There you can see the tempo being automated. We can do the tempo change with the current tool like this, but I went to the tools and chose this line tool to get a straight linear decrease in tempo. And that's it. Leave a like if you found this video useful and a sub to the channel would be a massive encouragement. This is ADK, hoping to see you in the next video. Stay safe, stay healthy, I will see you next time.